welcome to the channel guys today I'm going to show you how to create a table view using storyboards let's get start by creating a new project in Xcode so here we are going to select single view applications from the pop-up menu choose single view application and hit next then it will ask for a name to your project so give a name at Whatever you want, I will give my as my table view and next to continue and it will ask for a location to save your project. I will save it to my desktop and create fine. This is a project you will get this pop-up uh, that's because you haven't set up your source control. If you're not getting this warning, so please ignore this. And there is another uh, error that shows that you haven't set up your development account for this tutorial. We don't want to set up a developer account because we are going to use simulator. And I'm going to select iOS minimum target as 9.0, and I will keep the rest the settings as it is so now we are good to go we keep these settings as it is and we are good to go so I'm going to start it from the storyboard go to your project navigator and select main.storyboard and it will show you a storyboard so <clears throat> I'm going to grab a little more space then it will clearly see so I'm going to select the table view from the library so if you're not seeing just type your table view and just drag a table view to your view so I'm going to place the table view like this and align it to the view by dragging it to the right and dragging it to the bottom so guys uh, make sure that when you are placing your elements make sure to place it within the safe area because uh, I was now reducing the safe area so you are good to go with safe area Add the constraints to your table view I am selecting resets to the suggested uh, it will add left, top, right and bottom and I'm going to add a prototype cell for your table view. Uh, guys, if you don't know, table view cells are usable. That's why we are creating one table view cells to display hundred and thousand, hundreds and thousands of uh, data. So we are going to give identifier name that we are going to use this identifier name when we are implementing table view delegates and data source methods. So now I'm going to add delegates and data source for your table view by control dragging with hit control and drag it to control so it will add data source and delegates so now you're good to go so here that it has added the delegates and data source for your table view so what we're going to do is we are going to open up the assistant editor so you can see the view and the code in the same view so we are going to create an outlet connection for your table view just control and drag your table view to your view control i'm going to get a little bit of space to see it clearly so i'm going to drag the table view to your view controller to create outer connection give its name i will give it as my table view and connect so we are good to go let's continue by adding some codes so first of all we are going to implement uh, table view data source methods so just inherit from the ui table view data source so now we are going to implement table view data source methods so just commenting out what we are going to do so we are going to 
the table new data source methods. So first we start by implementing the number of sections. So we will add one section for now. We will find one and then we have say how many rows in the section. So we will say like uh, 50. So then it will ask so what cell that you are going to return to show this data. So we will create a cell here, table dot usable cell. So we are going to give the same name that we gave in these row reports when we are creating the table use cell. So we are going to return the cell. To show you that the cells are working properly, I'm going to add a text which you get the default by uh, your table view cell, the text library. I'm going to add a text, cell dot text table dot text. We will give it like a cell. Oh. So index path dot row. So it will print out cell and the row number. So now I think we are good to go. So just save it and yeah, everything good. So we can run it. Just save it and run. We select the simulator. Then we select the iPhone X as the simulator and run. building my project and hopefully we won't get any error will succeed so yeah now we can see the simulator it's launching the project and yeah Now it's running the table view. So hopefully it's coming. Yeah, this is the table that we created. So hope you guys enjoy this video tutorial. Uh, see you guys in another video tutorial. If you have any comments, suggestions, complaints, please put it as a comment. So. Thank you guys, thank you very much.